Hi, teacher. Good evening. No sé si me escucha ahorita, no me escucha. No sé por qué no le escucho. No sé si me escucha usted. Sí, no la escucha aquí. No, no, no escucho nada. Algo ha pasado después. No sé por qué. Hello, guys. Hey, Hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me, Walter? Perdón, perdón. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ah, que si necesito ayuda. No, que si me escucha. Sí, sí, yes. Ahorita sí. Ya, ya le quité la audio. No, no, I guess the problem was my microphone. Creo que el problema estaba en mi micrófono. Well, no, I guess we're going to work with that microphone. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, I'm sorry, but I guess my other microphone died. Because it's not recognized. No me lo reconozco. Okay, so Walter, how are you, mister? I am fine, teacher. And you? Me, yeah, what well, you know? Same old story. I mean, no story. Working as usual. Perdona, the same old story. Working as usual. What about you? How was the weekend? How was the weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? Uh, good. Good. Uh, what did you do? Hey, wait. Uh, I I work in my house. At home. At home. Ah, at home. Yes. At home. Okay. Okay. Nice. Hey, nice. Hey, hey, um, good. Uh, no, I, I, I go to work, I go to, I go to, in, in the park. You went to the park? Uh, I went to the park and made my double. Siempre vamos a la fin de semana. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's nice, that's nice, excellent. So you have a good weekend. From buen fin de semana. Yes, yes. That's excellent. So I'd love to hear it. Me alegro escucharlo. Okay, mister. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Next, 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 next. Robert Guzman, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you, mister? Fine. Teacher, I can I can hear you good. So so uh, ah. I'm sorry, my other microphone died. Perdón, que el micrófono falleció. Ah, okay, okay. Right now I'm with my backup. En este momento estoy con el de respaldo. I hear you with uh, echo. Yeah, yeah. But that's because uh, it's the other microphone. It's el otro micrófono. Oh. So I will need to get another one tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, well, um, today, today I was uh, uh, very good, and yesterday I, I went to the Fiestas Patronales. Oh, really? On my town, and I gave the about to uh, Twister, Twister, what is Subi, Subi. Okay. A una rueda. Okay, okay, hold on. Was amazing. Hold on, hold on. I roll in the mechanical games. I roll in the mechanical game. Mechanical. Mechanical game. Okay, okay, that's good. Excellent. Okay. So you have fun. So you too. Yes, with my cousin. That's great. Excellent. So glad to hear it. My little Pucharlo. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the class, mister. Bienvenido. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see uh, who else is 
around. Aquí vamos andando por acá. Oh, Stanley, hello, Stanley, how are you? Hello, DJ. How are you, mister? Hello? How are you? I find very good. Excellent. How was your weekend? My weekend is Sunday uh, is working in all day in Nick. Working uh, all day Sunday. Long. And Sunday, uh, visit my mom. On Sunday, visiting your mom. Yes. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, you have fun. Very divertido, I imagine. Visiting your mom, you have fun. Visitando su mamá, me imagino que la pasó bien. Yes, eh, ahí tomando coffee. Oh, okay, drinking coffee, that's cool, that's cool. Yes, y ahí prepara mis list, listas porque me llevaba para candidata reina. Oh, good luck. Yes. Okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome to the class, Stanley. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Rover, Beltran, my friend, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. It's a Good pleasure to, to see you again. Pleasure is all mine, my friend. Tell me, how was the weekend? You Did you go with your son? Yeah, my child was enjoying the weekend yesterday. We went to the town festivities over here. Okay, it, so they the have fun. Cars, rush. ¿Cómo se dice carro chocones? Mm, that's a good question because I mean the problem is that I I never went to those games so I don't know the names. But I could say uh, I could say my son got on the cars and yeah. that's it. Yeah, for the moment. For we the stayed moment, yeah. home. we stayed at home whole day. And even we didn't go to the church. Okay. Oh, you didn't? You didn't go to church? Yeah, we didn't. Oh. We didn't go to church. Okay, okay. I'm trying to give my son the medicine. He got the flu. Okay, okay. He got the flu? Yeah, he got the flu. Okay, perfect. So, I mean, well, no, that's not perfect. Uh, you have to take care of him. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, but I mean, taking care of our kids it's not like, I mean, it's part of the job, right? Yeah. That's part of the job. It's something like, I mean, we have to do it and we do it. And it's like, just, just something else to do. Yeah. I'm responsible from him. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just that sometimes, I mean, uh, when they are little babies, it's, it's heavy because it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. They are little babies because they start crying and you don't know the reason. That's we don't know. We exactly. don't know. Exactly. I mean, for me, for me, that was frustrating. 
Because I mean, we as parents, we want to fix it like and now, right? Yes. But I mean, treatment, taking care, and let's hope it pass by fast. Yeah, I, I, I understand your situation. And uh, I think the same when I was younger, uh, I, I did not prepare. Or be father. Well, nobody is. I mean, nobody is believing. <laughs> All kids are different. Yeah, that my in my case, I I was like seventeen years old, and I felt a little bit uh, confused because I didn't know how how to act. How to be par? How to be that to him? It was super hard for me. Uh, I I rec I remember when I I huge he the first time. I I remember I cried when I huge huge he in the first time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's different, right? Because I I was waiting for him nine months and you know that's really it's really weird because it we feel we feel i i felt a real sensation because yeah. that thing's gonna it it was it was going to be my first time that i'm going to be that Okay, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it's a special feeling, a very special and particular feeling. And of course, uh, with every kid is special, but the first one is the first one. Yeah, the, so, well, I understand you, I understand you. Okay, thank you, Robert. Always a pleasure. Yes, a pleasure. You. Okay, guys, give me 30 seconds. Well, less than that. Give me just five seconds. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm so sorry. Let's see, let's see. Well, guys, before we move on, let me get the attendance. That's mandatory. Okay, your clip, today is Monday, the 24th, 24th. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Karen, oh yes, she's here. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, David. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you. <coughs> Fátima Lisa Espinada Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemes. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Y los manteles de la mesa no los llevan. Ay, Enrique, Ay, cae de que no lo oye bien. No, hoy. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jaime. Uh, José Edwin Valle Franco. Present, teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. I'm here. Thank you, Robert. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present, teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Guadalupe Garcia Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Nelson Stani Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Villa. Present, teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Yamar Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Guillermo. Ok, so... <coughs> okay, okay, I got a full house. That's so cool. Teacher, yo aquí estoy, no le había oído. <laughs> Karen, I got you, no problem. Que casi no se escucha. Okay, but I got you, no problem, no problem. I'm sorry, guys. Perhaps tomorrow I can fix that because I don't know what's wrong with my microphone. It was working well yesterday, but somebody was messing around today here. And it stressed me out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see who else is here. Catherine, hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, okay. Tell me, Catherine, how was the weekend? Um, Born my in weekend. Little... Yes. On Saturday, I speak it in my shorts. And on Sunday, I clean the house. And the afternoon, I went. Oh, ¿quién hace los ruidos? ¿Yo? No. Al, Alguien más. Progress. Let me see. Well, I got everybody off now. No era I got, yo. I got everybody off. So, okay, so, and tell me, tell me, tell me, how's the weather where you live? How's the weather today? Is it hot or fresh? How's the weather? ¿Qué significa eso, Weather, clima. Ay, el gran calor. And do you think more than five house? ¿Cree usted que más que donde Jaime? <laughs> no dice Jaime. <laughs> yeah. I mean, or perhaps let's see, Ruth, Ruth, you're the one who lives in in Acosta. Ruth es quien vive en Acosta. Yeah, I've got one here. I have one student who lives there. But I always forget. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like four months ago, I had a student from Morazán. And I had another one from Metapan. Metapan. Yeah. Ahí también es caluroso, ¿verdad? 
a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Este, quiero aprender a hacer cosas de cerámica. Okay, I want to learn. I want to learn. Pottery. Uh, pottery. Pottery. Oh, really? Yes. That's so cool. Pero son caros esos hornos especiales. <laughs> well, you build up one of the uh, ancient people. You can use it like the antiguos. I mean, they work. Funcionaban. Okay. No. Well, yes, Sammy. Mejor solo de tierrita lo voy a hacer. Oh my gosh, no comments, no comments. Cantani, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Ana Consuelo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, excellent. How was the weekend for you? How was the weekend? How was the weekend? On Saturday, studying Braille. Studying Braille? Okay, that's cool. Did you enjoy it? Lo disfruta? Um, Sunday, um, ¿cómo se dice lavando ropa? Doing the laundry. The week. Doing the laundry. Doing the laundry. Yes, doing the laundry. Okay, okay. Well, and in the afternoon? Before the tarde? Teacher. Una consulta. Soy yo o se escucha así bien eco cada vez que yes, usted habla. Para I was telling you, yo les decía de que lastimosamente se me acaba de dañar el micrófono. Estoy usando el backup, el que tengo de respaldo. Espero mañana no tener ese problema. Porque... Ah, bye. In the afternoon, eh, pasé Lidiando a la niña. Ok. Sí. How do you hear me now? ¿Cómo me escuchan ahora? ¿Cómo digo? Como dijo teacher, no le escuché. Okay. No, es que estoy comprobando algo. ¿Cómo me escuchan ahora? I heard you a little bit far, teacher. Ok, ok. Let me see. Se escucha igual. Se le escucha bote y bote. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a problem. Now? Ahora? No cambia nada. Hmm. And ah, uh, oh, let's see. Okay, what about now, right? Now, guys, can you hear me more? Me escuchan más? Yes, ya mejor. And now? Okay, let's see. If it's better now. Mejor ahora? Yeah, it's better. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh. 
Yeah, it's just that, I mean, the problem is this, the other microphone is good. It's a good microphone. But uh, I needed to change the settings. Tenía que cambiar todos los, los settings en la app. Because they were, uh, they were modified for the previous one. Estaban creados, estaban configurados para el siguiente, para el anterior. Okay, give me one second, guys. Let's see. Hey, thank you for the ones that uh, send me the homework. Gracias a ustedes que me enviaron la tarea. Appreciate it. Some of you are still missing. You can send it later. Los que nos faltan todavía los pueden enviar luego. Okay, let's see. Brenda, hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me how was the weekend for you? Um, on Saturday, work all day from seven to four. Okay. And Sunday, Good. I study all day. Also virtual class classes. Okay, virtual, virtual. Yes. Excellent. So you were busy. ¿Cómo? You were busy. Estuvo ocupada. Sí, bastante. Um, in the background times, sizes, how short all drives. I'm sorry, can you repeat, please? Podría repetirme, please? In the webman, no, between, web, between, between, the Tyson, Tyson's, Tyson's, how, 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 no. How old? How short? Yes. How short? How short? Try it. Try this. Also, you were busy. Doing how short always take time. Eso siempre toma tiempo. Brenda, nice having you here. Welcome. Let's see. Bienvenida, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Fatima Laura, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Miss? What else? Um, good. Okay, tell me, how was the weekend for you? Um, so, so. On Saturday, work every day. Okay. And Sunday? And Sunday, how shorts, normal. <laughs> how shorts, normal. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem that for us, some activities are like normal, no? Okay, okay. So, and today, how was the day? Um, good. Se siente cansado trabajar así el sábado. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, it depends, you know, because I mean, it depends uh, how used are you to. Depende que están acostumbrados usted, because I mean, I work even Sundays and I'm like, eh, it's normal. Ya me acostumbré a trabajar los domingos. Ajá, ya es cuestión de costumbre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, it's good to have you here. Qué bueno tenerla acá. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Karen Patricia, hello.
Hello, teacher. How are you? So, so. So, so. Okay, and tell me, how was the weekend for you? Mm, very tired, teacher. Very tired? The Saturday work. Okay. And Sunday, me tocó ir a hacer un mandado todo el día. Oh, really? So, you were out. Ajá, me voy pagando. Interesting. <laughs> That's quite interesting. What time did you get home after I llegó a casa? Yesterday. At uh, 5 p.m. Okay, that's not late. At least you rest. A menos descansó. Un poquito. Little. A little? Little. No dormí, teacher. Siempre duermo. Mami. Oh, really? How much do you sleep on Sunday? Time to learn. Hello. Give me teacher, no le escuché que dijo. How much do you sleep on weekends? ¿Cuánto duermen los weekends? Um, two hours. Two hours. In the day. In the day. Okay, two hours. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> El único rato que puedo, teacher. Okay, well, it's nice, it's nice. Excellent, thank you very much and welcome to the class. Gracias, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Shimana, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Pardon? I am fine. And you? Um, you are fine. I'm tired. I'm cansada. Really? Yeah, tired. Yeah, tired. Tired. Okay, why? A lot of work? Um, yes, in the work, in the, um, the, in the dance, the sábado. Okay. Oh, you, uh -huh. you were dancing, I remember. Yes. What time did you got home that day? Uh, a que hora llega, me quiero decir. Yes. Quiero regresar. Yep. A la quiero ver four four o'clock. Uh, AM AM no. Well, sí, de la mañana. Yeah. Well, that's early, let's say. Digamos que es temprano, so it's not late no more. Sí. No, 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 no. A esa hora regresé. Del domingo. Yeah, that, that's why it's early. Por eso es temprano. Ya pasó la. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Ok, ok. Well, Aún cansada you. de eso. I can imagine. ¿Perdón? I can imagine. Good Ay. for you. Good for you. For you. Qué bien por ti. Ok. Sí, sí. Gracias. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Ay. Ok, guys. I still got time. Baby. Hello, David. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you, Mister? Um, I'm good day, man. And that's a short, the short day, you know, this. Mm. A short day? Yes. Um, 
because um, a low of war. Oh yes, yeah, Saturdays are heavy, right? Yes, it's so popular. Okay, yeah, well, but Sunday you rest them. Well, in the morning, on the Sunday, the yeah. Sunday in the morning, I, I went out why my dad in the the afternoon in home. Okay, in the afternoon at home resting, right? Yes. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent. David, thank you and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Ruth, hello, Ruth. Hi, teacher. How are you? So, so. How was the weekend for you? Um, Saturday, it's time to work because we are um, late uh, with some new styles. Okay. And Monday. On Monday. Um, with many things to do at home. Oh, really? Big yes. Uh, watching. Uh, cleaning, limpiando. Cleaning, but. And, and cooking. Really? Um, come on. And most importantly uh, going to church oh you went to church yes nice what service did you go yes i guess it was you left to church what time in the afternoon in the afternoon in the afternoon and that's enough. Uh, four. Okay. okay. Well, excellent. Good for you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. 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 Give me just one second, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys. Uh, let me let's review a little bit of the simple past tense. Vamos a hacer un poquito de paso about the simple past tense. Okay. Do you remember that last class uh, we were oops, we were explaining a little bit about the rules, how is the structure and stuff like that. But uh, we are going to review the structure, okay?
give me just one second. Uh, Thank you, guys. Okay, the simple past tense. Now, if you remember, we always have, uh, when we are talking about any tense, we have affirmative, we have negative, right? And we have interrogative form, okay? Whenever we are speaking, that's all we got. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay? Now, when we are talking about the affirmative sentences, if you remember in simple past, it's very simple. We got the subject, we got the verb in past, and then we got the complement. Which is this, okay? We have, remember the structure. I say subject plus the verb. Remember that this verb goes in past tense. Plus the complement. Simple, right? Now, when we have a negative sentence, the structure varies a little bit. Why? Because for the negative, we have the subject, sorry, the subject, plus. Here we include an auxiliary. The auxiliary is the plus not plus the verb, the main verb. Oh, but now look, this verb goes in infinity. Okay? Or some people say in the base form, or some people say in present, okay? Plus the complement. That's when we are talking about a negative sentence. But we also got interrogative sentences. We know that the interrogative sentences start. Okay. The interrogative sentences usually start with the auxiliary. We know that the auxiliary in this case is B plus the subject plus the verb. Remember always the verb in present. The same idea. Why? Oh, because one second, guys, guys, those microphones. Okay. I'm sorry. So we got the verb in present plus the complement plus the question. Okay. And that's the structure. Now, we need to remember some little aspects here. I got to learn one of those aspects. What are those aspects? Now, if you remember, sometimes, sometimes we use a WH question or an information question, right? And remember, the WH always comes 
right before the regular stop. Si la pregunta es a yes no question, iniciamos con el auxiliar. If the question is uh, an information question, we start with the W. Okay? Remember that one. It, the W is always comes before the structure. La estructura normal starts with the auxiliary, right? In interrogative. The WH is a special question. Now, what am I talking about? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. One example about this. One example. Let's see, let's see. Uh, um, okay. Time played with his son. Right? He tells me that sometimes on the weekends he plays uh, basketball with his son. So, according to the structure. We got the subject, we got the verb in past, and we have the complement. The complement in this case is all this, right? So, this same sentence in the negative form, if you follow the idea, the structure says we got the subject. Then we have the auxiliary. Now, there's a difference. In simple present, when we were talking about he, she, or it, we use the auxiliary do or does. You remember? But now that we are talking about the past, it's simple. Doesn't matter the subject. Importo sujeto, always the auxiliary is going to be did. So, I mean, did not. Play with his son. Okay, let's now let's check out the structure. If you see the structure again, the subject, I mean, we have the auxiliary, we have not, we have the verb in present, right? And then we have the complement. And again, remember, the complement is all these. Okay, now, for structuring the question, it's quite simple. The question starts with the auxiliary. So we start with deal, who, I am. Did I play with his son? And then the question mark. And it is fulfilling the structure. You notice we have the auxiliary D, subject, the verb in present, the complement, and the question mark. Questions up to here? Pregunta hasta el momento. Check it out. No questions? Okay, let's continue. Now, teacher. Yes. En la, en la número tres, En la interrogativa, usted no usa el, el WH question. En este caso, no, porque estoy haciendo una pregunta que se contestaría con sí o no. El uh -huh. WH es opcional, depende del tipo de pregunta que usted está haciendo. Yo les colocaba uh -huh. que el WH va aquí al inicio y se lo coloqué con otro color explicando. WH are, I mean, are not uh, parts. Originally part of the structure. No son parte de la estructura básica. The basic structure is this. La estructura básica es esta. When we talk about basic structure, 
We are talking about the minimum elements for it to be a sentence. Estamos hablando de los elementos mínimos para poderla llamar oración. The WH is something extra. Es algo extra. And it's very simple. Y es muy simple. Siempre, siempre, siempre goes before the structure. Siempre van antes de la estructura. Al inicio. Ok. Ok. Any other question, guys? No? Ok. As I told you, uh, if you remember, we were also reviewing that there are uh, regular and irregular verbs. Hay verbos regulares, hay verbos irregulares. Like we say that Catherine went to church. Okay. Again, remember the regular verb, recordemos los verbos regulares, are those ones that, son aquellos que al ed at the end of the verb. Okay. But in the case of irregular verbs, and that's all the verbs irregular, they got a different form. Okay? So, that means that for a regular verb, you have the verb in present is different than the verb in past. How so? You have for regular verbs, simple. Look, play becomes becomes, I'm sorry, Play, right? Like our classmate went dancing. Dance, look. Dance becomes dancer. She danced all night long. You remember? She was all night dancing. That's so cool. That's regular verbs. Regular verbs just add the but we have irregular verbs. She went. The present is go. Remember that these, the irregular verbs, got their own form. Eso tiene su propia forma. Went. Okay? It. The verb changes. Into. A. You see? That's the difference between regular and irregular verbs. That means that we are here about the first two were regular, right? These ones were regular verbs. And then we have irregular verbs. Remember the irregular verbs? Their own specific and special form. Forma específica y propia. Right? Now, if you remember, we were talking about uh, the sentence. We got Catherine went to church. Doesn't matter the verb, if it's regular or irregular. In the negative, the verb goes in the same tense as with regular. Present. Catherine, she did not go to church. Okay? If you notice here, the verb in this situation goes in present. Why is the verb in present? Oh, remember, because the auxiliary did in this case is affecting directly the verb. El auxiliar nos está diciendo a nosotros que el verbo se va a entender a pesar de que está en presente, lo vamos a entender en pasado. Okay? Something else that we need to remember. When we are talking about did, okay? 
I was telling you. It doesn't matter about whom you're talking. No importa quién habla. I, it could be I, you, he, she, it, we, they. The auxiliary always is going to be the. El auxiliar siempre va a ser the. Okay? No, doesn't matter the subject. No importa el subject. The auxiliary never changes. You see? It doesn't matter if we are talking about them, we are talking about it, if we are talking about ourselves, or if we are talking about he, the auxiliary always, always, always the same. Okay? Something else that we need to remember is that being not That will not can be expressed as didn't. Okay? And it's exactly the same. Okay? It's completely and exactly the same. That's exactly the same. Did not equals didn't. The same. Now, we have the question. In the question, we have that Catherine. Oh, I'm sorry. We start the question with the auxiliary, right? I wonder, me pregunto, did Catherine went or go? Hi. Go. 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 Yes. Perfect. Did Catherine go to church? I'm sorry, I just wanted to check if you were awake. Maybe I'll let you down the circle. Okay. Did Catherine go to church? Very simple. The auxiliary, the subject, the verb in present, the complement. Now, somebody was asking me about the W expression. The W expression comes right before the regular structure. So, why? Why did Catherine? Oh, why did Catherine go to church? Okay. Why did Catherine go to church? If you see the structure is fulfilled. The why comes before the why do not answer. It's something that we are adding before the structure. Okay. Guys, questions, preguntas. Teacher. Yes. Verdad que los verbos irregulares dijo que tienen su propia forma, verdad? Yep. Eh, hay muchos de ellos. Yes, pretty. I don't know if I send you a list. No sé si me envió un listado. ¿De verdad? No se lo envió. Bien, lo envió. Okay. Sí, envió uno. Ok, en that list you are going to find regular and irregular. But, I mean, the key, Catherine, is for you to practice the ones that you use daily. But let, I'll give you that tip later. Le voy a dar un poco después, pero first of all, question, pregunta. Check it out. Take your yes, time. yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me. Eh, cuando se usa el guay, la, como que cambia la, la pregunta. ¿Por qué? Yes, exactly. Remember, sí. these words the WH question, the WH, like estamos viendo el otro día, they ask for specific information. Ah, oh, okay, eh, estamos, okay. O sea, en la primera estábamos diciendo, ¿por qué te viene a la iglesia? And you tell me, mm -hmm. hey, Jaime, 
está feliz para la iglesia. Y yo te digo, oh, yes, she did. Y me dice, sí. Right? Okay, yes, so, yes. No, she didn't. She eloped with her boyfriend. Y me dice, no, se jugó con el novio. Oh. Ok. Ese ejemplo que da. And then I got why. Y entonces yo le pregunto, ¿por qué? Yeah. I okay. ask you when. ¿Cuándo? Yes. Where? How? Ok. And so far, on. Y así continuamos. Remember that they are... Okay. Recuerden que son válidos. Ok. Ok, ok. Thank you. But they, the fact that we include them, el hecho de que las incluyamos a ellas, la vuelvo information question. Lo que usted tiene acá es otro tipo de preguntas. Ok. These questions are, estas dos son conocidas como yes, no questions. Okay. These are known as yes, no questions. Se le conoce como yes, no questions. Right? This one is an information question. Okay. You... It's an information question because of the WS question. Y esto se le da la WS question. Okay. So you see, these two are yes, no question, porque usted la va a contestar con yes, I did, no, he didn't. Okay. Yes or no. But in this case, I'm asking information. Acá le estoy pidiendo información que sea específico. ¿Por qué no fue? Okay, so I ask you, did Catherine go to church? You can say, yes, she did. You can say, sí, it fue. You can say, no, she didn't. You can say, why? Okay. Oh, and then you give an explanation. Y en ese caso, usted me da una explicación. Okay. Questions, guys? Okay, perfect. Do you want that uh, that that whiteboard information? Yes, please. Okay, I'll share it in the group. Thank you. Just bear with me for a few seconds. I want to. Adapt it for the frame. And to reduce it if it's possible. There you go, guys. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Now, let me get the second attendance because time has flown. So no? I get the second attendance. Now, remember, I just sent you the info, but if you have any doubt in any other class, ask me. It doesn't matter if it's a topic that we have seen and explained. I gladly explain again, okay? If you can do that, you can ask me at any moment. I'm here to help. Now, let's see. Ana Maria Consuelo, I'm sorry. Ana Consuelo Maya Merino. My bad. <laughs> These ladies are like, what? I'm sorry. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. 
Brenda Angélica Díaz del Chacoma. Karen Beatriz Castillo en centro. Present, teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present, teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present, teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Present, teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present, teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present, teacher. José Roberto Ramírez del Plan. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Present, teacher. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present, teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Quemar Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, guys, thank you very much. And let's continue. Now we go to the manual. The manual all right here. Okay. It's a little more of the same explanation. Page number 24, look at the word symbols and complete the sentences below. Okay, we have I learned a lot, I updated my network skill, I exchanged it, I this didn't attend, this didn't exchange. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make me contact? Did Janet update her network skill? You see the auxiliary at the beginning when in question, you see the verb in past when we are, have an affirmative. You see, didn't and verb in the base form when we have negative. Okay, guys. Now, complete the questions below using the verbs in parentheses. Interview two classmates. Let's see. Okay. And... Take notes of the answers, combine short and long answers. So, did you attend? So, that's the verb in parentheses, you see. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Okay. Your partner needs to give you an answer. Imagine that is an affirmative. The classmate says, yes. I do too. Yes, I do. Okay, it says combine short and long answer. Okay, this is the short answer. I attend. I attend one. On the 24th. You see? The question is Did you attend a seminar last month? Christian seminar in the South? Yes, I did. I attended one on 24. See? We are one on 24. Simple, right? 
Okay, so we have for the next sentence, we got enjoy. So you're going to uh, did you enjoy, enjoy the seminar? And your classmate is going to give you yes, I did, or can give you a no, I didn't. No, always the problem. Huh? That's always in this case, okay? No, I didn't. I hate the seminar. It was horrible. If that depends on you, I want to this first, okay? Do you understand the activity, guys? You're going to make the questions with the info there, and your partner is going to answer. As we are many, we are going to make groups of three members, okay? Give me just one second. I'm getting the group ready. Okay, groups are ready. Jump in. Ask an answer, please. Don't forget. Como tipo ED. Ajá. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. <coughs> Tenemos una, una breve de nuevo del, del, del ejercicio. Okay, it's very simple. Usted tiene que hacer la pregunta, tiene que estructurar la pregunta y uno de los dos me da la respuesta. You write it down. Teacher, pero digamos no habría problema que todas empezarían como, a, como la del ejemplo. Did you? No. Hola. Of course not. That's not a problem. Actually, that's the way. Realmente, como es una conversación entre dos personas, así lo haría. So 
Hola, teacher. Hola. Este, preguntarle sobre la actividad que yo acabo de ingresar y yo solo me mando para los grupos. Ok, you need to make the questions. Hay que hacer las preguntas de lo que ya acabo de ver. En simple fast, en pasado simple, lo que veíamos acá. Ahí le pone el inicio. Did you enjoy? Did you meet? Did you learn? Did you network? Did you exchange? Simple. The answers are going to be, you're going to combine. Puede ser que alguna nace una corta o una larga. Una corta o una larga. That's all that I want. Oh, uh... Y la tercera. <coughs> y, y la, la respuesta sería como... No. Uh, no, no. I don't. <laughs> Claramente dice ahí no, ahí no. No, people. No, I don't. Vamos. Vale, no le da comida al carro. Uy, ya me va. ¿Qué es mi? Eh, number three. ¿Te veías usted? Eh, oh. Oh. Did you Request. Ajá, es que como, como son preguntas, es que es como. Um, de que two, did preguntas. you enjoy the seminar? Number three, did you meet new people? Number four, did you learn something? Did you network in the convention? Did you exchange business cards? Simple. Yes. Okay. So, Jay, todo lleva en chiste. Ajá, entonces, did. En la tercera. Sí, did you también. Ajá. Did, did, did you. Meet. Y es agregar de la E de siempre. Ajá. No. Remember, if it's a question, como es una pregunta, you got the auxiliary. Tiene la auxiliar. Once you get the auxiliary, the verb goes in present. Desde el momento que aparece el auxiliar B, el verbo va en su forma presente. Yes, yes. Sorry. Yes. Wait. Okay. 
Ah, entonces, si ¿sí estamos ahí, Gaby. Hola. Sí, sí, está, está fácil. Entonces, solo es el agregar el, el auxiliar. El ¿Qué fue lo que, Ajá, ¿qué porque fue eso. Lo que fue? El, el, el auxiliar es lo que hace que la, ya el verbo se vuelva como, como pasado. Ah, ah, entiendo. Sí, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Dios mío. Y la respuesta. Ah. <clears throat> Cinco, did yes. did you network? Jaime, una pregunta. Hola, hola. Después del did you y luego va el verbo, de ahí no, no se le agrega algo más. Eh, no, 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 y el otro niño no habla. Stanley, quizás está trabajando. No, yo no. Okay, 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 okay. It's almost time. Let's bring everybody. Hey guys, just a minute, just a minute. Did you uh, need Nick Nick what? Nick hmm? the convention convention. <laughs> okay. No te conectaste en la convención. Podría decir no. No lo hice. Remember, remember. Networking es la acción de dar y recibir contactos. Conocemos de nuevo. 
Ya, ya. Mi Ah, pues entonces sí. <ríe> y en la última quedaría como... No did, way. Did you exchange her business card? Sí, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Sí, sí, sí. Carta de negocio. No, tarjeta. Como la tarjeta de presentación. Ah, tarjeta de presentación. De hecho. Paris coming back for dinner in a few seconds. There is everybody coming back. no llevarán el uniforme de física porque no vamos a hacer ejercicios sino que estamos en examen hola ok guys let's see in this case the answers can vary a little bit so let's focus on the question let me do a little something here Okay, question number one. Number two, I'm sorry, uh, Ana Maria. Question number two. La pregunta número dos. The question. Yes, please. No, you like her to. Yeah. Did you attend? To a seminar last month. Did you attend? Attend. Okay. What was what was the answer? What was the response? Yes, I did. Okay. Short answer. Respuesta corta. Let's see, uh, Jose Elwin, you got a different answer? Jose Elwin, by you. At the, the second question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I did not enjoy uh -huh. the seminar. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Question number three. Let's see, uh, Jaime. Uh, did, did you meet new people? Okay, the answer? Yes, I did meet a new people. Meet, meeting. Meet, meeting. Meet them. Okay. A new people. Yes, I met. Met. The verb meet is a verb, an irregular verb. El verbo meet es un verbo irregular. 
Okay. So the past of this verb is met. 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 Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Catherine, number four. Okay. Did you learn something? The answer, please. Huh? The answer, la respuesta. Yes, I did. I learned it a lot. Okay, perfect. Yes, <laughs> I did. I learned a lot. Excellent. Now, let's see. Rover, el tram. Number five. Let's see. Is Robert right here? Mm -hmm. No. Well, uh, Karen Patricia. No, I didn't. I, I just question, want to pronounce question. it. La pregunta. Number five, five. Medicine. Yes, please. Did you need work in the convention? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Didn't. No, I didn't. didn't. Imagínense que la segunda vez suena como que fuera una R. Didn't. Okay. Didn't. Didn't. Thank you. Number six, go to Gabriela. Did you exchange business cards? Exchange. exchange. Business cards? Business cards. No, okay. I did. Yeah, I did Perfect. Thank you. No, I didn't. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, it's activity. Okay, here we go. In this exercise, we are going to do this. Choose three good topics for a small talk and three you consider inappropriate. And then you're going to tell me why. Why do you think they are good and why do you think they are inappropriate? Working in the same group. Trabajando en los mismos grupos, me deciden. Cuáles, according to your point of view, are appropriate and which ones are inappropriate. Okay? And you're going to tell me why. Y me cuentan por qué. Got it? Questions before I send you? Alguna pregunta antes de que la mandí? No, okay, perfect. Podría volver a explicar, teacher, disculpe. There's a list of topics there. Hay una lista de temas ahí. You have to choose three good for small talk. Los que sean buenos para small talk. El otro día yo les explicaba. Small talk es como un, hey, how are you? How's the weather? ¿Qué tal? Nos reunimos, nos sentamos por ahí, pero no conozco a Jaime, estamos sentados esperando pasar consulta en este lugar. An easy topic for small talk is like, es horrible el calor, ¿no? It's very hot today, right? That's an easy topic. That's small talk. ¿Ok? Es un tema sencillo que usted puede hablar con cualquier desconocido, no problem. It's different that I sit next to Jaime. We are at the hospital waiting to get uh, to the doctor. And I ask him, hey, mister, are you married? I don't know if you've ever seen him. Hey, mister, I'm married. And I'm like, what? You see, that's not an appropriate topic for a small talk. Because it could be felt like invasive, right? It could be invasive or uncomfortable. So that's what you're going to do. Choose. Three that are good, three that are bad, and tell me why. Tres buenos, tres malos, y decirme por qué. Okay, guys. 
So groups are ready, groups are open, jump in. Hello, Stanley. Report, boy. Stanley, no, no, no. Okay, I'm glad. Ah, que estos son como como conversaciones cortas, solo preguntas superficiales, no preguntas así como. Uh, Ajá, buscar de, de, de mucha información. Uh -huh. Exactly that, exactly that. Preguntas superficiales. Una conversación superficial. Ok. But you're going to choose which ones are good for that. Porque esto me parece bueno para eso. Which ones are bad. Y cuáles son malos. Ok. Like, we got the list. Uh, Porque tiene el horario, eh, el listado. Y yo le pregunto, ¿Are you making good money in your job? Nos, nos acabamos de conocer ahí sentados y de pronto. Vamos. Gana bien en su trabajo. I mean, for us, that's not good, right? Yeah. It would be uncomfortable. Sería incómodo. Um, There's Carla here. Aquí está Carla también. Hola. Hello, Carla. No. Aquí estoy escuchando. Ok, Carla. Okay. Um... Eh, no. ¿Eh? Hay con una X la es inapropiada, tiene con chequela. Ajá, la, la buenas. La buena y la buena. Con, con, un, con un cheque, la buenas y con un... Con la X. Con una las X inapropiadas. Con... Ajá. Bueno, las inapropiadas, nos ha dicho. Uh -huh. Entonces, por lo menos en la primera que la puso Tra como a claro, claro. Dice su empresa? Su, su empresa está cerca del de la torre central. central. Ajá. No sé, la gente es inapropiada. Ajá, porque él le va a dar información personal ya. Ajá. Nah, sí. ah, pues bueno. La bicicleta. La chaquira de la bicicleta. Y este, por lo menos en la segunda dice Company Joe. Ah, ¿Dónde está la bicicleta de ella? ¿Dónde está? No. <risa> ya te la voy a buscar. Sí, ya está para 
mí, ¿verdad? Para mí. Yes. Los que son in inapropiados para hablar, ¿verdad? Y los un buen tema para hablar. Yeah, it's podría like, ser. Es like, uh, uh, imagine that we just met. Nos acabamos de conocer. I mean, at the bus stop. En la parada de bus. And I ask you, hey, do you make good money in your job? Yo le pregunto, mire, y le pagan bien en su trabajo. That would be like inappropriate, right? Es como que no. Muy bueno para una small talk. Acuérdense, small talk es una conversación superficial, casual, right? Um, yo no escucho mucho que hay mucho ruido.
60 seconds, guys, 60 seconds. Everybody's coming back. Okay, let's see. Who's gonna help? Uh, Carla Beatriz, tell me, tell me one topic that you consider is good for a small talk. Carla Beatriz, hello. Perdón, teacher, estaba hablando y tenía apagado el micrófono. Um, the number one. The number one. Read it, please. Uh, Hello, por favor. And location, eh, la, la letra E y G, no sé cómo se podría. Example, ejemplo. Uh, location, example, is your company near the trade center? Okay. Um, para mí está mal. De back. Okay. But I'm asking you, give me one topic that you consider that is good for a small talk. Yo le estoy preguntando que me dé un tema que usted considera que es bueno para small talk. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Um... Common event example, are you enjoying the seminar? Uh -huh. Why? Is, why? Why do you think it's good? It's easy to talk to? It's easy to talk to? Eh, si se, si, bueno, no sé si entendí mal el ejercicio, pero solo le puse un chequecito, una X okay, a las perfect, malas y a las perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, Roberto Guzman, tell me one topic that you consider inappropriate. Okay, perhaps we're just having problems. Uh, Robert Bertrand, help me out. Okay. Uh, you asked me... Um, one, tell me one that is inappropriate to talk. Yes, inappropriate. Okay. Maybe uh, how many money that I earn in my job. Why do you consider that inappropriate? Uh, I'm sorry. Why do you consider inappropriate? Yeah. Why? 
because why do you do you want to know how many money that I earn? So that I think that it doesn't matter. You don't have to know that about me. That is a confidential information oh, from me. Okay. That's what I want so, to hear. The reason. Excellent. Thank you very much. Robert. Okay, guys, due to the time factor, we are going to continue, continue with this activity tomorrow, but we are going to do it. La vamos a continuar, okay? So think about the explanations for the ones that you think they are inappropriate. Piensen hasta la mañana la explicación de por qué consideran ustedes que son inapropiados, okay? Thank you, guys. De la que hemos seleccionado, teacher. Yes, the ones that you selected. Let me get the final agenda. Let's see. Ana Consuelo o Maya Merino. Present. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present, teacher. Uh, Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lepe. Present. Guillermo José Osorio Ventura. Present teacher. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present teacher. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barón. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Present teacher. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Robert. Sandra Isamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Tony Guadalupe Present. Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to work in the platform. Remember that section two and midterm exam. Okay? Please, please. Okay, let's see. It was a pleasure, guys. See you. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Have a good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you. teacher. My pleasure. My pleasure. See you tomorrow. See ya. Good night. Good night. Good night, bye teacher. Bye-bye. Okay, doc, teacher. How do you say that? <laughs>
I don't use it. Bye, teacher. Bye, Walter. Take care. Brenda, what's a doing? What's a question? Oh, there's a way to go to the uh, it's not answering. Oh, the traffic, the number, the number, the number. 